<laughs> Our next guest, and probably my favorite introduction uh, that, uh, that has been written, but our, our next guest eats plenty of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, put your hands together for Francesca Lee. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Francesca, I wear Birkenstocks, <laughs> but I'm not a rapist, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, my chiropractor told me to wear them, I have fallen arches, you know, think of long term. My friend, however, said that wearing Birkenstocks might just make me a hipster, which I'm okay with. I like hipsters, many of my friends are self-denying hipsters, that's fine. <laughs> and, I don't know if you know this, Super true. Hipsters are rarely ever rapists. <laughs> no, it's true. They've known about consensus before it's even a thing. <laughs> well, I'm too materialistic to be a hipster, though, and I don't play a mandolin. But I, <laughs> I don't like buying local coffee. <laughs> like that local coffee shop. <laughs> because Starbucks gave me this sparkly gold card and a gold status membership, and they have a pimped out loyalty program. So I'm like, sorry, Jimmy's, I'm not sending your kids to college. I've got a date with four shots of pumpkin flavored cancer. <laughs> taste, taste cancer. <laughs> if only Jimmy's would have given me a sparkle card, I wouldn't have cancer. <laughs> No, that's a lie. I don't have cancer. That's the rest of my family. It's okay. <laughs> they keep telling me that one's funny because it's true. <laughs> I, uh, I bought a water bottle at Starbucks, or Snarbies as I like to call it. Um, and it says on it, it's helping children get clean water, which is really nice. It makes me feel kind of better. Uh, but it's also a liar, because clearly it's just sitting on the table. <laughs> it's trying to tell me I'm a good person. I just joked about my family's cancer. I'm not a good person, water bottle. What if it's a lie? <laughs> so let's talk about something fun. Uh, does anyone here have a poop trigger? <laughs> like, like when you do that special something and it makes you poop? <laughs> for example, is um, being interrupted, which made the debates really fun for her. And, uh, Donald Trump has two, actually, tacos and equality. <laughs> I like my poop trigger. It's kind of fun. Um, it's an epic. Does anyone know the final countdown? Yeah. The song, like, <laughs> know that song and if you combine that with like some smooth move tea or like good PSL, it's game time. Everybody's out. <laughs> Great, I love it. Except it keeps setting in when I'm at chapters. <laughs> and it's getting kind of expensive. Because <laughs> you can't you can't just poop in a shop and not buy something. <laughs> well you're not there say. So I uh, I picked up a good book the other day after a good jam session. And uh, um, next light read, I am Malayla. I don't know if you know it, but it's about this 16-year-old girl in Pakistan named Malayla. She's advocating for girls' rights to education, which is great, and then the Taliban shot her, which is not great, but then she survived, and then she's fine, she has an agent and a publicist. <laughs> that lets you go, hey, I like this world. <laughs> this is a world I like living in. <laughs> Shooting 16-year-old girls, great. But I, I read that book, and it really made me do two things. One, I Google Pakistan. <laughs> and two, question my life choices. <clears throat> Because Malayla spends her nights, you know, fighting terrorism and misogyny and studying. And I spend my nights, you know, watching Law & Order SVU and singing Disney karaoke on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Which, um, that combo is fun. <laughs> because it makes me wonder about Prince Charming. I think he would get institutionalized nowadays. Because he would have to file a missing persons report. And he goes in there, he doesn't know her name. He can't even describe her. He's just waving around this shoe, like, try and never grow in the land and only fit her. Which to me sounds like a one-way ticket to Cam H. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
No, that's harsh though. I, uh, I'm a bit of a romantic, and I think I've actually found my Prince Charming sitting somewhere, but I can't see you, so I don't know where he is. But, uh, and if I ever go missing, he'll be able to find me, because I too wear shoes that only fit my feet. Because <laughs> I wear Birkenstocks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>